And okay. you've got, and I know you've been working with uh, AIDS Center for a long time. AIDS, uh, uh, AIDS Service Center AIDS, excuse is me, what yeah. it's called. And uh, yes, they're based in Pasadena. They serve uh, thousands of people throughout LA County, uh, indigent people who have HIV, AIDS uh, issues. Uh, bingo nights yeah. coming up? What's yeah, that? We're, that's a new, it's a new thing we're trying to do. Actually, it's been going on for a while at the uh, Hamburger Mary's in Los Angeles. A wonderful guy, who of course I'm not... His name has just flown right out of Jeff. my head. Jeff. Boy, I wish I could remember his last name. In any case, he has for some time now, every Thursday, I believe, Wednesday night, he's had uh, uh, bingo. And essentially, right. you uh, play bingo. Uh, the person who partners with Jeff that evening represents an organization. Right. So, for instance, the Aid Service Center would be the beneficiary mm -hmm. of one of the bingo nights. And it's a very wild bingo, you know. Well, I went when Juan Fernandez, that was exactly. the script coordinator, exactly. did the AIDS ride exactly. down. Yeah. And, and I think you called. I called, yes. Yeah. You know, they celebrity to... caller. There's a right. drag show competition. Mm -hmm. And I think, Be is Belle, does Belle have another name? Uh, Belle, I can't remember, is sort of the MC, and she is, uh, she's got quite an act. Yeah. Be Belle, is, Belle is, I think, actually a truck driver, but uh, in real life. She is but, beautiful, uh, and she does such great she calls. Does, I mean, yeah. They, they, they do uh, who's on top is yeah. one of the games, who's on the bottom. <laughs> you know, and you, you pay, I think, basically $20 and you get, you get 20 ten, bucks for three, ten, ten cards, you know, yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So if, It's what nights and when, what's your... Uh, your ours your, is, uh, hey, talk, 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 to, talk to the man without me and I, I will get... Uh, yeah, basically okay. the ones that they open up, they have regular... Uh, bingo. I mean, people love bingo at Hamburger yeah. Mary, so they have their, their own personal yeah. regular bingo nights. But I think Wednesdays are the ones they open up to guest uh, charities. Yep. Sure ours, we go. Ours. ours is Wednesday, September mm -hmm. 3rd at the Hamburger Mary's in West Hollywood. It's Big Night Out Bingo at 9 o'clock. So if you're in the neighborhood and you want to stop on by. And mm -hmm. if you win a bingo game, you run through the restaurant and everybody rolls up their bingo carts and pelts you with them. And, and pelt, pelt him, pelt him, pelt him, yes. And then, Cars uh, like no other. Yeah. Yeah. It's callback bingo too. Callback bingo. So there's all they're dirty little callback. We're hoping bingo. to get an exciting celebrity guest. Uh, is and Scott, we'll Scott Wolf, if you're watching this, how would you like to do it, Scott? Scott Wolf, come on! <laughs> and we will be putting together gift bags. Yeah. Yeah. They're usually silly, but they're fun. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. We primarily fundraise. We are active in putting events together. We run the auction, for instance, for our major charity event each year. We help to put the walk together. Which when, plays in the end. Give, give me a time of the of year. And this is primarily L.A. area people, but I should ask, if, if someone's out, out in the country and they want to help, what can they do? There's a website? There's a uh, Get in touch via www.aidsservicecenter.org. Auction items. We love auction items. <laughs> and there, and I Let's was, talk I, about auction items for a second. We're getting really good at dinners at restaurants, hotel uh -huh. trips. We just met a gentleman here who works for the Hyatt who's like, sure, hotel stays two nights. If you have a condo you and you'd like to, for instance, loan it to us for a long weekend right. or a week or a timeshare. Timeshare prize, like that. Right, if right, you right. If you own a restaurant and you want dinner for two or a party of six. Theater even. tickets to cool events, concert tickets. It, we're based in Los Angeles, but when there's something really, really interesting, we always try to couple it with airplane tickets. So, you know, it's not out of okay. the question that if you're watching this and you live in Miami and you say, well, you know, I can get you two tickets to a Celine Dion concert, you know, I mean, obviously there's always a time mm -hmm. concern. When would those tickets be good for? But don't rule us out. There no, actually, I think you got uh, tickets to Ellen DeGeneres donated and yeah. hugely successful. Yeah. People get very excited. Uh, sporting tickets, you never know what, yeah. what fans yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, for instance, our Posada is coming up, which is our version of a walk, and okay. it's usually like around December 5th, 6th, it's a Sunday. Right. Um, you can, people, we can be sponsored. I mean, we get, we're setting up teams. Our team last year raised $12,000, so even if you don't live in Los Angeles, you can sponsor us for the walk. And then our signature event, which the big night out, is usually uh, the first weekend, the second Sunday in May, it's Mother's Day, uh -huh. and uh, that we, you know, we run the auction. We, we raised one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars in wow. uh, from auction items last this last and year. And it's an auction event, or that's part of something it's else. A, it's something a else. giant cocktail party with yeah. great food at a palatial estate. There's a live and silent auction, and then that large group splinters off into smaller parties, dinner okay, parties held right. throughout the region. I was going to ask you how you got involved in that, and it was you're talking about your brother. Yes, my brother uh, died in nineteen ninety. He was one of the, the 
not so lucky ones who was diagnosed with full blown AIDS in 1987, and he was on AZT. Oh, and that's yeah. the thing is the cocktails have gotten are fabulous. AZT just like killed you. If the if the medication didn't kill you, the right. disease didn't, was, and vice yeah. versa. Although I've been talking to a lot of people, and those cocktails are really. They're debilitating. I mean, people do go down. Cocktails of prescription of the medicine. Yeah, yeah. and it's it's, it's such a combination that it is you know it is destroying vital organs. So I mean, what we're finding is people are living much longer, but but their health is nonetheless deteriorating because right. you know. And they need places to be moved, and they need to be put in hospices. They need better living conditions. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that hadn't. Yeah, been it's, addressed it's also one of the things that's changed too is that you know what was primarily a quote gay disease has been mainstreamed. That's the entire world and every population group is affected and in fact the highest rate of incidence of growth, I should say, is in female minority populations. The uh, landscape of the country right now and politics and things, it's, it's, it's not in the schools. It's right. very, very difficult to get any of this education. And because we're having trouble with funding now, you know, it's big because it's of the changing landscape, it makes it harder for groups like us to, to put a whole lot of our private dollars, whichever one wants it, in prevention and education. It's harder to put it there because we need it just to keep functioning. Yeah. So that's, we're trying to reverse that. The bare scale. Mm -hmm. to, to a certain extent, it proceeds from the uh, point of view that the likelihood <clears throat> that somebody is going to stay on their meds, for instance, and actually really make sure that they are grappling with HIV AIDS, is dependent upon the extent to which they are leading healthy, happy lives. Yeah. Are their kids getting toys for Christmas? Do they have a nice place to live? Do they have a job? Do they have access to the food bank? What have you? But you know, it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing yeah. battle. We do all sorts of things. It's a wonderful organization. You can also contact us through johnbillingsley.net and uh, just say you're interested in helping out, mm -hmm. and that message will get to me, and we'll take it from there.